Hey guys, gonna make a quick video uh, about the 2023 Kubota SVL 75-3. Uh, don't really make videos, but uh, in the process of researching equipment to buy, uh, thoroughly enjoy uh, going on YouTube to people who actually have the equipment that have used used it and uh, know a little bit about um, how stuff works uh, so I'm just gonna be fairly brief there's a couple my know Messix Messix has done a pretty good video on it um, and I'm sure there'll be more to come but uh, I bought the one with the high flow the reversing fan and the ballistics uh, glass for uh, Fecon use um I, I i had the the 75-2 it was a phenomenal machine i had no complaints with it uh i take that back the only complaints i did have on it was on the front idlers um the front idlers the the bearings went out fairly fairly quickly i guess it was probably about 1200 hours i thought that was pretty quick but um I have had equipment that goes out. I bought a brand new 200 over there and uh, it was throwing tracks off the first the first week we had it um, because of the idler, uh, the rail that the idler rides in was loose and it would cause the idler to walk around and uh, it would detract because of it. But just, just a quick, just a quick look at the machine and change the, the radiator and the um, the air conditioning uh, coil is above the engine now. I, like I said, I did get this one with the reversing, the hydraulic reversing fan. Uh, the fuel is in the back now. Um, makes the door pretty heavy to close on a hill. Um, it's got a place for the, you can put um, the weights on the rear. Um, like I said, I did buy the high flow. Um, the uh, where the the front mast that the bucket attaches to is a little different than the the new one, or I mean the the dash two. Uh, it's a little different. Um, the cab the cab feels a little shorter. I, there may not have been as much legroom, but I could be wrong. I've got a ninety sitting over there. Um, they may be. It, it, it may be so minuscule that it's not even. Most people may not even know. Um, but I've had this thing for almost a week, um, not long enough to pull the bag off the seat, as you can see. But uh, right off the bat, um, I'm pretty happy with it. The lights are fantastic. We we uh, we started work early the other day, and uh, with those with those lights, it pretty much lit the job side up. It was I was I was impressed. Um, one thing I'm not super uh, impressed with. Um, it's not a huge deal. Some people, it might be a good thing for them, but, um, on my dash two, the bucket that they sent, I know you can get different buckets, but this is, I didn't even look at this machine before I bought it. I literally signed, uh, signed the, the Kubota paperwork before I'd even seen it. Um, but having the, the bucket over the, my, my dash two, it handled a bigger bucket like it, you know, it it made no difference. It was a pretty stout machine and this one is as well. Um, but I, for, for my line of work, it would be better if the, the bucket was over, over or, or was a little wider than the tracks. Um, this bucket just seems the, the, the machine's so stout that it, it feels like it's got the wrong bucket on it. Um, so, uh, I would, if I had it to do over again, I would have, I would have ordered it with a, with a bigger bucket. Um, trying to think of something else that, uh, that I don't like right off the bat. Um, there's not, there's not a lot. The machine is lightning fast, but also what's nice about the, uh, Kubota is that they have the pilot controls. So even though it is lightning fast, um, it's still very, I'm used to running track hose. So you can actually feel the, the hydraulics in the, 
and the, the, the joysticks. Um, uh, the machine, uh, like I said, I did buy it for hot flow and I've run, um, I haven't run the hot flow circuit on it yet, but I have run my, I've got a diamond, uh, it's the, it's the biggest, the, it's not a, the feek, it's not the feek on top, it's not, it's a, it's actually a mower, uh, it's their heavy duty, um, hydraulic uh, their, their uh, brush cutter and I had it on the standard flow and man it was uh, substantially better than my dash 2 um, it was the hydraulic I, I, I researched it a little bit I know Kubota hydraulics are, are phenomenal um, but it on my dash 2 it definitely seemed like it uh, it was laboring all the time and if you would hit something thicker it would really bring it down um i never had any overheating with my dash 2 um it was just you could tell that it was starved it, it needed a little more flow i run it with my 90 my 90 here which has been a phenomenal machine and i'll keep it until the, it literally falls apart um uh, I can't recommend one of those machines highly enough, but the pump, the, it definitely seems like it's got more flow. It, it definitely seems like um, it has more power behind it. Um, and I did get the ballista. Oh, one thing I, um, that kind of aggravates me about knocking myself out the other day, because when you, um, on the dash two, the door, um, it locks in place pretty quickly. And I'm sure that the regular Dash 3, but because I bought the uh, the half inch Lexan, the ballistic glass, um, it's it's substantially heavier. So you really gotta uh, slam it. And if you don't, uh, as soon as you turn around to try to uh, get in the, in the machine, this thing will come down and hit you in the back of the head. And um, I'm not a, I'm not a swearing man, but uh, I may have said a few choice words. Uh, but to, to climb in the machine, um, as you can tell, it's pretty pretty new. Uh, impressed with uh, impressed with the uh, basically everything about it. I don't I don't really have any. Of course, I've only run it for a week. I'll, this so to to start it. You punch in your code here, and then you'll hit the the check button, and then it'll it'll um, the screen to start. It will come up. I'll I'll put my code in here. Okay, and then once you press the check button, your your screen will come up, and then you just keep this button pushed in. It'll start right up. Um, Bluetooth, um, everything works really well um, don't have any problems with that um, air condition I remember the Messix uh, got Messix talking about how the, the cab now is uh, uh, is a lot better sealed up it, uh, it'll kind of press on your the, the pressure in here will kind of give you a little bit of feels like you're taking off in a plane or something it's pretty wild but the uh, Heat and air, uh, very good. The dial, the the RPM dial is a little different. It still has the still has the, um, the foot throttle. Um, but to close it up, one thing that is massively different, um, and it's due to the cab, um, is the thing is so quiet. I don't. I don't know if you can, if it'll make any difference, but that's wide open and it's it's not. It, might, it may sound loud, loud on, the, on the video, but it is not a difference as far as quiet. Um, and I, for some reason, it does seem a little smoother. Um, maybe um, that may just be the you know, when you have a new toy, it's hard. It's hard to see any any faults in it. But 
but um, the uh, yeah, it's I, I, I'm I'm thoroughly impressed um, with the machine so far. Um, I know some people have talked about not locking the uh, where your drink goes um, and the, the foam charger, I guess. I don't know that I don't know that it really matters to me, but one thing I, I I do wish that they would do is either somewhere in here or somewhere in here uh, put a place to mount a phone uh, because I mean nowadays you know phones have gotten so big our pockets and our work pants are still the same especially if you're like me your pockets get uh, your pockets get sweaty it's hard to get your phone in and out. Um, and if somebody like if you go to take a call or whatever on this, I mean, you can still you can still answer the phone just fine through through the, the you just you just push a button when it pops up, um, and you can talk on the phone. I mean, I I was talking to my wife a minute ago, and I was running the machine was wide open, and we were having just a regular conversation. I could hear her just fine. She could I wasn't having to shout for her to hear me. I don't even know that she even knew I was on a piece of equipment. So that was that was pretty impressive. Um, but yeah, if you could just have something holding your phone, I'm sure they probably make something aftermarket that you could you could do. Um, but yeah, uh, it's uh, uh, a lot of a lot of things are, are similar. You, they're, the design is very similar to the the Dash Two. Um, there's but obviously some differences. Um, the differences are just you know just updates and. Um, uh, I, I have noticed that the in the in my dash too, like this this would get in there would get full of dirt and, and uh, uh, wood chips and stuff, and it would be hard to get the window open. I think they've changed that a little bit. Maybe maybe not. Looks like they've got some rubber in there to keep that from building up. Uh, we'll see. I don't know, but um, a few little things that are different. Uh, this is this button here is to the reversing fan on the radiator. The 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 computer you can set it to do it automatically after a certain amount of time, um, and so you you just don't have to worry about it. Um, but, but your your uh, quick coupler on your bucket is a little different. It's got a little uh, safety latch here that uh, that unlatches the bucket, and then here. Um, you've got a jog menu, you've got a home, uh, back, and you can either, the, the screen is a touch screen, and somebody's calling me right now, um, um, but it's a touch screen, and, um, um, but the screen's a touch screen, um, or you can, um, so if you see here, I'm jogging with the, uh, with the remote, you can, you can touch it. Um, or you can go back. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff. Um, here is pretty pretty standard. Um, this unlock once you start it up, you know, it unlocks your machine. This is your parking brake. This is your auxiliary hydraulics, um, and then you, your high flow. You adjust it on the on the uh, uh, in here, and then you've got this is. I think these are all a little different. Uh, my dash two was a standard flow, so I'm not sure how different these are than the dash two high flow. They may be the same. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but I mean, it's if you've run a Kubota, it, there's not going to be anything revolutionary. Um, this is my third Kubota skid steer. I've got a Kubota MX6000 tractor that I'm been super happy with. Uh, I know uh, uh, Skidco on YouTube. He does a lot of these videos, and he's uh, uh, they're a lot of, a lot of helpful videos. So you can shout out to him. He's got some some good stuff on there. Um, I know he didn't like the didn't like the MX6000. He's got one, but he's not happy with it. I've been super happy with it. Um, just like I've been happy with uh, every Kubota I've had, but. Um, but yeah, uh, I would uh, I'll go outside and um, you can hear how loud it is running. It's 
really quiet. Um, so it makes it easy uh, somebody outside being able to talk to you. You don't have to shout at each other. Um, so it's kind of hard. This is totally different. There's a ton of air that comes out both sides now, rather than coming out the top. Oh, I'm sorry, off the back. Um, but yeah. Um, pretty, pretty decent little machine. I'm happy. Uh, I, know how, I know some people have, have, I was concerned about the, the view out the back because because the, the, the back of the machine is so much taller because of the radiator stacked up on top of the engine. Um, I was I was concerned about being able to see out of it. That's one of the reasons I bought. I've actually I've, you know, I've got four pieces. Of it. I've got an SCL one thousand, and uh, it's a game changer. For the ride. I do a lot of road uh, utility work on the road, and being able to see all the way around three hundred sixty degrees is a big deal for me. Um, so I was I was a little concerned about being able to see the, the blind spots on this machine, but because you know this corner post it's not a big it's not a huge deal that they've poked this out right here because you can't see out of it anyway but running the machine um especially with the rear camera i know it's brand new but the rear camera's incredible it's you can tell you can tell if a, if a, say this right here was a quarter or a dime you can easily tell what it was so, uh, props to Kubota for putting that, that in there. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, I can't think of a, a lot of other things, but if you got any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments or whatever. Um, yeah, a ton of problems. The errors, there's a massive amount of error coming in the field there. Um, so yeah, it's a 2023 SCO. I'm sorry, SVL 75-3. All right, guys, have a great day. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he lift up the countenance upon you.